Hi guys, very good evening to you. Uh, welcome to the video number 279. My name is Ajay and I'm going to talk about today VBA functions, month, month name, day, file, date, time and format, right? If you know my channel, then you know that we have uploaded the videos on Excel, Excel VBA and I'm a success, access VBA. You can find all the videos on this channel. You just uh, need to, you know, go to the channel and on my channel, what you need to do you need to click on the playlist this these are all the different different playlists which we have created and one of such you know the playlist is excel vba function we, we, when you click on that you would see here different different videos so we have uploaded 13 videos on that we have the basic videos we have the intermediate uh, level of the videos we have the advanced videos we have actually everything for you guys okay so any anything bothers you anything you want to learn just let me know about it through my channel and i will definitely come back to you in the form of the video right so uh, this video I, I also actually uh, got the idea of you know to talk about all these functions which I was just talking about um, you know these are the functions basically which we are going to cover today month month name day and file date time uh, recently I got a comment from one of my subscribers uh, mr. chum so we actually exchanged a couple of comments but I will be very short on that so what he actually wants to do is uh, you can see here I want you to show how to convert the date to a month number in VBA I'm gratefully thank you for your reply from big fan of your so thank you so much when you said that you're a fan of my channel you're a fan of the videos trust me it increases so much of strength you know inside me that I mean I feel like you know that I should connect with you with each of you you know day by day and I try to upload the videos as much as I can as many as I can and at the same time I try to make as awesome awesome you know as as i can and as informative right because it's very simple if you if i if i if i want to give you the learning on the excel excel vba and access and access vba definitely you know uh, there has to be uh, the clear-cut understanding right what i'm actually uploading it should make a sense so when people say that they are really liking the channel they are they are the big fan of this channel trust me it increases so much of the strength inside me and you know it pushes me to upload the videos and also it makes you know it gives a sense of responsibility also you know a sense of responsibility actually you know it comes in your in your in your you know mind and uh, the next time when you upload the video definitely you aim that you know it should actually give a good information right and no doubt guys i want to also thank you uh, the last month you know i have got 106 subscribers just this so november was the month uh, i've been running this channel from the last i think um, eight nine months and i never experienced you know this much of the hike in the numbers right so we had got i mean i had got actually 105 people subscribe to the channel so that simply means that it's actually getting popular and you are really liking it thank you so much for your support <laughs> right all right so i now let's come back to the topic and uh, let us discuss all these functions one by one and uh, so we're going to start with this uh, the month month name day and file date name these are all the functions which are the inbuilt functions the vba inbuilt functions right there's there are the another functions as well which we call the user defined functions udf right so these functions actually i have talked about these functions already in you know the playlist called excel vba function you can quickly go there and you would find here a video called uh, the basics of vba function just go ahead and watch that if you want to create the functions you know by your name or uh, maybe uh, with your name or maybe something else you know whatever you want to do so they are the functions which we create when we don't find any you know inbuilt function useful so we can create that but in this video we're going to talk about these functions so let's go ahead so i'm on the module now on the module 2 and uh, so let's start this so function discussion let me just give it up this name now the first function which i'm going to talk about is the month okay so it's very simple simply let's declare one variable called i as uh, date okay date so I define the i equals to date. So today when I'm recording this video, it's 4th of December. So we can do one thing. I can give the date as 12 by 4, 2016. Okay. And um, I can put the hash inside it or you can put the quotes as well. That's all up to you. Okay. So my format, uh, my date format, you know how my machine actually is uh, designed. It always starts with MMDD and Y, 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 right? You need to change this. If you want to change the settings, you can go to the control panel and there you would find the date. And just click on the date and change the date, right? You can Google it. it. It is very easy. But 
most of the time you now these uh, your machines are always in the format mm dd and yy yy so now what is the next thing we want to do now this date let's say we have and we want to convert it into month okay so we have a month function so what i will do uh, i will create one more variable let's say i'm going to create here j as uh, i'll uh, name it as long i'll tell you the reason why i'm declaring it as a long uh, because uh, when you're going to pull out the month month would be 12 the answer should come out as 12 and 12 is a number right so that's why i have written here as long or you can also write byte or you can declare it as uh, integer whatever as long as your data type is going to hold the number we are fine with that single double whatever you want to declare so now i will write j equals to we'll write the month function and in the month function simply the date what is your date you know that the date is i right so this is how we are going to do this and um, i'm going to now you know display this message box okay so in, in the message box i will declare this j so let me run this and let's see what we are going to get it so there we go and yeah, as you can see that I got the 12, which is the month, right? So if I change the month, let's say I, I, I'll make it uh, as um, maybe three. So this is the 4th of March. If I run this, you see that you will get to see three, which is your, the month, the month number, right? Now there is a one more function which you can use, which is called the month name. Okay, what is the month name? So month, if you write the month name, so let's do one thing. Um, let me write here j equals to month name and start the bracket month as long right so month as long what does that mean which means the value is going to come as you know long so i again write here i okay now you see that when i'm going to run this what will happen i will comment this line we will not execute this line this time we will execute this okay so let's go ahead and run this invalid procedure call or argument now what does that mean actually now it means that when we started this function month name you remember it was telling me month as long which means that now what do you mean by the long data type long data type means that it is going to hold a number but you see here it sees it as a you know hash three by four by 2016 you know this is a more of a date so if i write here three let's say i'm just going to write here three and i execute this again it says the type mismatch now why it says the type mismatch so let's do one thing let me reset the code and let me just keep this data type as variant okay because you know when we declare the variant when we are not sure about the data type so if i'm going to run this now let's see what is it is going to give us look at this guys awesome pretty awesome it says march why now you need to understand though i'm not going to talk much on the data type because this is not a variables chapter i've already talked about that in the you know other sections like excel crack your excel vb access interviews so go there and find it out the you know there is a video there discussing the data types now what exactly happened first of all you should be very clear when you start the formula it says month as long so you cannot use the date here you got to use here a long long means a number right so if i write here 12 which is a number it is going to give me back the name of that you know 12th month which is which has to be december now the second thing is if it is going to revert you know uh, give me back uh, December you know it is going to be a string it is going to be a text so that is why when we declared J as long it did not accept that it created the error so if instead of the variant I write here string then this should work let me press F5 you see that this is pretty awesome so you can use this month name as well if you're looking forward to you know the months based on the dates so this is how you can do the stuff right now we can also do a lot of stuff for example what if you want to pull out the month of this date you know now directly you can't use this date so we can do one thing guys first of all we can extract the month from this which is we have already extracted it in this line so what i will do now this time let's say i uncomment this line okay now when i'm when i'm going to run this and instead of this 12 i will simply write here j now what will happen you know that first of all when i run this this i will have a date right this is pretty much understandable now here we have a date so this month is going to pull out the month of this date which is three right but in the form of a number so here you will see 
answer in the J as 3 and this is what exactly we need. So here we have a 3. Now when I'm going to execute this, so this 3 is going to be, you know, changed to the March, right? So in this way, you can actually convert the date into a month, right? Very simple. Now what about the day? Now day is again a function which extracts the, you know, the day. For example, if I write here J equals to day of I, what will happen? Let me comment this, both the lines, this as well as this. Okay, so now the answer should come as four, right? So let's just run this and there we go, right? So this is the day. This is the day means, you know, what is basically the day for the, uh, you know, that date. If I write here 14th of March and if I run this, the answer should be 14. So there we go, guys, you got the 14 very simple function right i'll again comment this out now let's go to uh, go and check out the file uh, date time function now this is very important i mean this is very useful actually when you're going to work with the files and you want to see that what was the date created or date modified you know whichever is the latest you can simply use this function now what you need to do you simply need to uh, let's say this is my bill invoice uh, excel file i go to the properties and uh, I'm going to copy the path of this. So I go to the securities and in the securities, I simply select the entire table uh, this path. I copy it. Now what I need is that when this file was modified last and if it, it was not modified, then of course the date created. So what you can do is I will simply write here message box. In the message box, we are going to use the function, which function? this function file date time so I'm, I'm directly going to write file date time this is a vba function path name so what is your path name put it within the quotes guys right so this is my complete for uh, you know the path including the file name right so let me just comment this out so let's have a look here let me run this now this has nothing to do with the date and everything we just need this we are just going to run this message box so there we go and as you can see it is created or modified uh you know on the 20th of november 23 12 44 this was the time so this is also a very pretty cool option right now the last function which i have just added while recording this video um, is the text function text function i have already talked about this uh, in the previous videos but because we are dealing with the month day so i would like to go ahead and you know uh, discuss about this function it's a very small function but very useful function now for example now what you want to do is this is your date guys and you want to format it okay you want to format it uh, let's say you want the again the month or the year out of it so you can also do one thing uh, you can simply use the text function j equals to text function uh, I beg your pardon it's not text actually to form it but in Excel it is used as a text function right so in Excel you use the text function for example if you have a date let me show you in the Excel quickly this is the date and if I use the text function let's say like this and I go in the value and I see that I want to change the format of this so let's say I write you know uh, three times D and then I press enter see what will happen you will get to see Sunday right so i'm recording this video and today is actually sunday so in this way you can use the text function but in the excel we actually it is format my apologies for i you know sometimes it happens when you work on both the different different environments you know you, you uh, tend to you know i mean unwillingly you 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 mix up the things all right so this is the format function you start it expression expression is your i now how do you want to see this i I mean the date I'm talking about. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write here MMM and then um, DD and then YYYY. Okay. And within the quotes. Now see what will happen. When I'm going to run this, the message box should display this. So if I run this, this is what exactly you would see. Triple M, MMM, date 14th and 2016. Right. So in this way, you can do that. If I add the four, four M's, then what will happen? You will get to see the complete month march and then 14 and then 2016 right if i remove the double y then a, and if i run it now see what happens you get to see march hyphen 14 and hyphen 16. you can also do one thing you can also instead of this hyphen you know you can create the slash that's all up to you right and if you let's say uh, what you do is you create the 3ds here i write 3d here now let me run this 
you see it is going to give you the monday as well march monday 16 so on the 16th of the march the day was monday right so these are the different different options which you can use while working on the you know your uh, a vba i mean whenever you work with the data where you have the numbers uh, the date and you want to convert them into months into uh, year into uh, maybe you know the kind of the format you want to pull out the month out of it so these functions are very very useful right so i'm just going to finish it off and um, uh, as I always say at the end of the video, if you haven't subscribed to the channel guys, please do that so that I can come back and I can upload more videos on that and I can may, you know, share this information uh, with all of you. So I will be back with some another exciting stuff and uh, if you have any questions, any comments to say, please do that and if you like the video, please don't forget to click on the like. Thank you so much guys. Bye bye. I'll see you soon.